You're still recording. Why are you still recording? Even recording the roof. It is bright and early. It's Saturday morning, we've come back to the bus. Today, I'm working on the bed. And I think Christina is gonna put some, I think we're just gonna clear coat the walls. Because we've seen other people do that and they look fantastic. So Most of the walls are gonna be covered up anyway. So it's not like they really need to be, you know, below, below the windows. That's what I'm talking about. They don't really need to be stained anything specific they just need to be protected mm -hmm. on the tops of them i'm going to be putting uh, veneer so that'll definitely help there but i think that's the plan and up above the windows i think we're just going to go with a natural stain and then a, a varathane or urethane or whatever some kind of thing to protect the wood but for now i think i want to get this bed I want to get this bed done. I'm not going to work on the pieces up above today because those set me off last weekend, made me want to burn the bus to the ground. So I'm going to do something today that I know I can take care of and won't be a problem. So that's where we're starting. Now I've got to get everything out of the bus because everything had to come back in the bus and we no longer have a back door to use. So fun times. Last weekend, last week after I had the meltdown and wanted to burn the bus down, I switched gears. We started building the bed frame. So it's high and we're aware of that. There's a big reason. This area right here is the kennel area. We have two big dogs. We have a Siberian Husky who's a normal medium sized 45 pound dog. And then we have an Alaskan Husky who is not fully grown yet and she's 75 pounds. She's quite a bit taller. They need a big kennel area and this is their kennel area. So we built it that high, you know, and then the bed comes about nine inches above that. So Christina will definitely need a step ladder to get into the bed. <laughs> but all I've done is two by, I've taken two by sixes, ripped them down to two by threes, and I've just got my measurements for, we have a full size mattress that's going in here. And you can see I've pocket screwed everything together. It's not connected to the legs yet. They're just standing there. Uh, it is it is tight against the wall that is on purpose so it doesn't move and I think today I, we're, we're, we're planning on clearing the walls as I said but I think we're just gonna go around stuff in here because it'll be fine so I think I'm gonna permanently mount the bed in here get the cross pieces in for support and some of you will be happy to know these boards this is from the seats out of the bus. This is the bottom seat. This is what we're using to put on here. Of course, there'll be cross pieces in there. We're putting them on there. That is the mattress support. Uh, it's half inch plywood. I'm going to put enough cross braces that that is not going to be, this is never gonna work. Uh, it's gonna hang over a little bit on the far side there uh, into the corners. The mattress will be I think two or three inches over the side there and these boards will be perfectly fine other than that I think I'm gonna get the frame done here and I'll be building the kennel out here we are going to line the kennel with the old perforated sheet metal that was on the ceiling in the bus originally and if you've ever had a husky you know when they get bored they will chew through a door so metal it is 16 gauge metal let them chew through that i, I want to see that <laughs> anyway i'm going to get at get at this so we put the mattress up on the bed so that we can see where it's going to set and we've decided to put a two by three at that end to give us a little bit of room at the end for a couple of reasons one so you can get your hands down there two i like it because then you're that much further away from the window and less likely to get condensation on the blankets uh, fits perfectly across exactly where we wanted it to be yeah that's good and then on this end we're going to build a storage headboard that's only going to come flush with the bed 
but uh, maybe down a little yeah, bit. It'll, it'll go down, yeah. We'll probably go five or six inches down and give us a nice cabinet in there. Perfect. my favorite tool that we have bought for using on the bus. There it is. Bed frame is complete. Uh, I've got to cut a piece of two by three to go along the back end there. That's going to hold the mattress a little bit further away from the wall. And Christina is working on taking the staples out of the boards from the old seats that are going to go on top of here. Uh, and that's what the mattress will ride on. I'll sand it all down and I'll varnish it. And on goes the mattress. And I think now I'm going to pick that piece up over there and then I'm going to put the boards on here. But I'm going to get started cleaning up this mess. I'm going to drop the wall up here. The wall that's at the end of the counter and I'm going to build the cabinets in there so that I can put it in the sink and that hopefully will be getting done this week. I figured before I start burying this thing and all the extra wood and stuff I'm using this now as a table. Uh, there it is. Bed frame is complete. This is all the wood from the old seats. Well from eight of the old seats out of 16 and that's the way it's going to be for a while and I'll sand that down and I will urethane it, make it nice and weatherproof so that it's smoother for the mattress as well. So that's it for that. That's going to stay like that for a while. I'm going to be moving on to walls and cabinets. And Christina is busy here coating some of the wall boards here with a polyurethane clear. It's actually a floor finish, but it's going to work really well on our walls. We're just going to go natural. We decided against any stain color or anything. But this is really pulling out the grain. And also, it, this is going to be behind the cabinets, but we need to protect it from water and such. So, she's doing this one here. This is coat number two. And then tomorrow I can build, I can start building walls and cabinets in and around this area tomorrow. Which is why she's doing this wall now. That looks great. Sunday morning. Just dropped Christina off at the airport. She's heading down to Texas for a few days. So with the bed frame built, I'm going to turn my attention to the kitchen cabinets. Um, we're trying to get this thing to RV status before we have to move it here. So we need the bed, we need a bed, a fridge, a stove and a sink. So the fridge, we have a 12 volt cooler, that's our fridge. And the we have a stove and we have a sink. So that's all taken care of. I just need to build the cabinets to house this stuff. So today, I'm going to be building the wall between the kitchen and the bathroom area. And then I'll be building the lower cabinets. And I ordered some 12 volt fuse panels. Those will be in today. Thank you, Amazon. And I'm gonna probably try and get those in this week as well while Christina's gone. So we picked up all the materials that I was gonna need for doing this and we got the countertop and everything. We picked all that up yesterday, so I'm gonna get started on that today. There it is, almost complete. Just gotta put the piece at the top. It's the first official interior wall. Only put in so that I could start building the cabinets, as I said. Here's what I've done on the back. So down inside of the bathroom here, and I'm just putting bracing across. This one here is so that I can tie the cabinet into that from the other side. That one for strength. And of course, where this one doesn't line up, because I didn't have a long enough board, I am going to drop one in here so that we can tie that in nice and tight so that it doesn't flex. 
I glued that block, I screwed that block into the stud and I glued it to the roof with, uh, with a construction adhesive. It's never going to move and that's just to keep it from doing any kind of wobbling back and forth. Once they're all tied in, I don't think it's ever going to flex, but that's just an added measure. I think it looks great. Get that other piece done up. Hopefully I can get that figured out right away. There it is. As you just saw, I spent quite a bit of time shaping this to be just right. I'm going to transfer this shape onto a piece of poster board and that's going to be our template for the for this entire side of the bus because it's all it's all the same it's all the same angle here so that's going to be nice check that out we've got this awesome looking wall paneling that we've put up to go beside the kitchen cabinets uh, just on that wall that I built yesterday and we're thinking that we're also going to put this over there behind where the fridge is going to go. So thanks to my son Jacob for giving me a hand with this. Held it while I was cutting it and then looked at it while I was stapling it. So yeah, looks good. I'm back here again this evening going to build the two lower cabinets in the kitchen area. Um, what you see back there is one end board be up against there and then there'll be two separate boxes I'm just gonna split the difference there but right now I'm gonna try and square up the ends so that I can get an accurate measurement and then I can get that cut in half so that's the fun of right now I just want to take a minute and show another one of these awesome little Craig tools this is meant for holding corners together Put your boards together, clamp it in. Now I can run in the bottom pocket screw, take the clamp back off, make an adjustment if I need to, if it happened to twist, and just run the other one in. And that's all I need to do. It is a very, very simple process. So now here's another Craig tool that uh, clamps on this side, but on the other side, it's got a pin that fits perfectly into that pocket hole that I just drilled and it allows me to hold that hands free because we don't have enough hands to do this. I'd need four hands to do this by myself. And I can run that screw in, move it over to the other end, run a screw in and then finish it up. I'm telling you, Craig makes these things so much easier for everybody to do. There's one done. This one here will have doors, double doors, and they will install on here with the hardware and they will overhang and cover everything and look all kind of nice. The one over here is going to have drawers, pot drawers. There we go, old cabinets built. I'm gonna set the countertop on it just to see how it looks. 